Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today I will show you guys how to enable 10 hidden features on your iOS 16 device using secret settings. Now iOS 16 of course has new features that you can enable through different settings that are buried into the settings app and you will probably never find them or never see them on your device. So in this video I will show you guys 10 of those that are actually pretty useful. Before we get started with the first one, I just want to ask you guys for a really quick favor. Most of you guys that are watching my videos are currently not subscribed to the channel, so if you enjoy the videos and you want to see more of them, please make sure to subscribe, it really helps the channel a lot. And let's get started with the first one. Head on to your settings, go under Apple ID, go to Password and Security, and just down here you will find Automatic Verification. What it does, it will bypass CAPTCHAs on websites and apps. This is really, really great. Even though it's not currently working perfectly on every app or website, of course, it will work way better in the future, so you make sure you have this enabled. So anytime you see those captures that you need to basically enter different letters or just solve like different puzzles in order to verify that you're a human, this will automatically bypass that so you don't have to deal with that at all. Next up, we're moving to Siri and Search. Go to Siri and Search and you will find here call hang up. What you can do is enable this and this allows you to just hang up calls simply by asking Siri. So maybe you're on a phone call and you don't have your phone in your hand, you have it on speak or just leave it somewhere. You can just ask Siri to hang up a call, simply say the hey word and then hang up and it's done. Siri can hand, hang, hang up a call now for you. Next up, we're talking photos. Now, iOS 16 has an amazing feature called shared albums. So what you need to do to enable this is head on to your iCloud at the top of the settings app, go to iCloud photos, and then right here will have albums and you have shared albums. Now with shared albums, you can basically create albums to share with other people. And you can also subscribe to other people's shared albums. So when you take a picture, you can just share it to that shared album or just add pictures to that album. That way, other people will be able to see those photos that you have shared with them. And of course, you also will be able to subscribe to their albums and see all the photos that they add to their shared albums. Moving on to the Safari settings. Now this one is really useful. You go to Safari and right here will have extensions. Of course we know about extensions, an amazing feature that Apple has added to iOS with iOS 15. But now with iOS 16, you will be able to actually share these extensions across devices. So when you install an extension on one of your devices, you can have it on all of your devices. So you don't have to install again the same app maybe on your iPad, on your other iPhone, or maybe even on your Mac. You can just enable this and all the extensions that you install on one of your devices will be available on all of your devices. We're moving on under the accessibility settings. So you go under accessibility and go under touch. Now right here you will have a new option to prevent lock to end call. So by enabling this, you tap the power button basically on the side here and it won't end the call. With this disabled, the call will be ended anytime you lock your device. But you enable this and it prevents the side button from ending the current call you're in. Sometimes maybe you just want to lock your device and continue talking on that phone call. But of course, the only way to do that is by tapping this button that would hang up the call. This new option will solve that problem. And while we're here under the accessibility settings, you can now announce notifications on your iPhone speaker. So if you're working or you cannot have your hands on your phone all the time, or you cannot just take a look at your phone, peek at the notifications all the time, you can actually have Siri announce those for you. So you go right here under accessibility, you go to Siri, and then right here, you will find announce notifications on speaker. Now, once you have this enabled, you will get this new section where you can go and take a look at your apps. Now, of course, you don't want to have this enabled for all of your apps because you will just like get a ton of notifications probably and just Siri announcing all kinds of different notifications that are probably not that important. You want to take a look at this list right here and maybe enable apps 
like messages or maybe FaceTime or other apps that you know are important to you and you want to be updated all the time with their notifications, just go ahead and enable them. And of course, disable the ones you don't need directly from this list. Here is another pretty cool feature on iOS 16. When you go to your focus modes, you can also customize your Apple Watch watch face. Of course, as long as you have your Apple Watch on the newest watch OS. So if you go to one of your focus modes, you can actually customize here and choose which watch face you want to have when that focus mode is enabled on your device. So you enable a certain focus mode on your device, it will just enable this on your Apple Watch as well, which is really, really cool. And of course, you can also choose your home screen and lock screen to customize, but that's an old option. The new one right here, choose, just choose the Apple Watch you want to use with a certain focus mode and it will be enabled automatically. And while we're here under focus mode, here's another really, really important new feature you need to know about. So you go to settings, go to focus mode, and you will have here focus status so this will let you share your focus status of course with other people but what you can do now with ios 16 is the ability to customize which focus profile you want to share when you have this enabled so you can see right here share from do not disturb apps driving gaming personal sleep all those different focus modes that you might have on your device Maybe you don't want to share everything, of course, every focus mode. Let's say I don't want to share the focus mode when I'm gaming. I can just go ahead and disable it right here. So just like this, you can pick which focus mode you want to share when it's turned on. And now we're moving on to two different settings that are available only on iOS 16.1, but which will be released very, very soon. In a few days now, you will be able to have the software on your device. One of them can be found under App Store right here. It is called in-app content. Now by enabling this, when you install an app, it will run automatically in the background. So it downloads all the content it needs for the app to run without you even opening the app. So the by the time you open the app, everything there is ready. The app is ready to go with the content downloaded. So that's a really, really great feature. You can go ahead and enable it from here. And last but not least, head on to your settings, go under battery, battery health and charging, and right here we'll find clean energy charging. Now what this feature will do is that on your region, your iPhone will reduce your carbon footprint by selectively charging your iPhone when lower carbon emissions are available. So this is enabled actually by default. So if you just maybe by mistake disable it, go ahead and check it out and make sure you have this enabled. It's a really nice feature to have turned on on your device. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and all the cool new features that you can enable on your iOS 16 device. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more. And I'll see you on the next one.